Today we craft a beautiful coffee table from a single slab of olive wood. Enjoy! This one has been a present by the wonderful people over on designholz.com. Link in the description. This is where I get most of my hardwoods from. And I decided to finally create something from it. Let's create a little coffee table with live edge and the like from it. I think it's going to make for a very cool table. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's at first prepare the lumber a bit. My trusty draw knife makes quick work of removing the bark. I got rid of it mainly because I'm afraid of it separating from the finished table once it has been placed in a climate at home. Next, I got rid of some bark stuck in holes that we'll later fill with black epoxy. Using my chisel at first for the rough work, I then took my Dremel and removed all the remaining bark that could pose a problem for later epoxy adhesion. On one side of the slab I had a bit of wood that seemed to have broken off, so I quickly removed those two centimeters with my table saw. Now for the first epoxy preparations. Olive wood is rather light in color, so for the black epoxy to not stain the wood fibers around the cracks, I decided to seal off the wood at first with some clear epoxy resin. After the resin cured overnight, I began to sear the bottom and the sides of the slab with some strong duct tape and also a few old pieces of wood and a bit of hot glue, just to make sure that nothing is gonna trip out on me. Then came the black resin. Pretty straightforward. Two to one mix of Epodex epoxy and a bit of black pigment paste. And boom! One day later we've got a fine fucking stitched up tabletop that we can further work with. Some small cracks were still left to be filled though, so I took my Black C8 glue and some accelerator spray and dealt with these immediately. After that I cut off the remaining ugly edge of the slab and sent both sides flat with an 80 grit. Next came the trickiest part. The slab was slightly bowed when it got sent to me. It was also only 1.5 cm thick. That meant I was not able to flatten it any further since it was already hella thin. So I had to get creative and instead of flattening the slab I decided to keep it square by force with some steel. Since it was so thin I was not able to install Z channels though so I went with some 0.5 cm flat steel. After marking the positions of the steel and the legs, I cut out some ply that will serve as a simple steel insert jig for my rounder. Fixing the ply in place with some double sided tape. I then adjusted my rounder's depth stop such that the steel bars will be flush with the bottom of the slab. Then it was off to routing with a template bit. This part was pretty straightforward and it didn't take too long. Thank you. 
And to get a perfect fit, I took my spicy corner and a regular chisel. Is it just me or is that fit looking kinda thick? Marking the respective positions. I then took my hand drill and screwdriver to place three threaded inserts per leg. And once that was done, I went over to my drill press and tried my hands on my very first time of drilling through metal. After lubricating with some machine oil, it was really easy to drill through it, only took a couple of seconds. It was easier than I expected it would be. After all the small holes were done, I also countersunk quite deeply with a bigger drill. This is where my threaded inserts will slide into. Next, I chamfered the outside edges with a 45 degree router bit. Shaped the live edge contours with my rotary, hand sander quite thoroughly and removed some sharp corners with my file. Once that was done, I added the threaded inserts for the steel bars. Those were one centimeter long, so in order to make them fit into the fin table, I had to let them stick out a bit. That was also quite a tricky part, took quite a while to figure out. Hence the countersunk holes in the steel I mentioned before. And after screwing down the steel, I checked the table with my level and lo and behold, the bow in the wood was completely gone. That worked out magically. Now the grand finale. Sanding all the way up from an 80 grit to a 320 grit, water popping and sanding again from 180 to 320. I was then ready to finish the bottom side and add the steel for good. And now let's just quickly repeat the same intimate sanding on the top and the sides. And then it was about time to add the final finish on the top of the coffee table. That's Zatar Matte Hard Wax Oil by Ligno Color by the way, just in case you were wondering. Link down in the description. Holy shit! Look at that ridiculous crane. It really pops once I buff the finish again with a soft wool pad. Olive wood is just something else. Ridiculous. And here's the final reveal. Enjoy. And if you did indeed enjoy what you have seen today, why not make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. It would help out the channel massively. Also don't forget to watch some other videos here on this channel. All relevant links down there in the description. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. See ya! So I just now took pictures for the thumbnail of this video and I went over to, <laughs> to our living room and it seems like our cat Hannah really enjoys the new table. Um, it seems to be hers now. Yeah, she's been crawling upon the table.
for the last 10 minutes or so and she just can't stop rubbing herself against the coffee table and joy. Um, yeah, glad to know that at least one person enjoys the table how it is. Is that right, Hannah? Are you a cute one? <laughs> that looked weird.